Hey guys, Jason here for Truck Guys, taking a look at our coronavirus sticker. So we're going to take a look at ABT, LIKE, KCDOX, BIR, NBX, the regular ones we've been covering. First, APT. APT had a thing of beauty in the form of its four hour equilibrium. We we're looking for, and we'll check that out in a second. Actually, let's just take a look at it now. Four hour time frame. Our high, low, lower high, higher low. And what we wanted to see in the best case scenario was for the bulls to push up, see this indecision, get back up and continue this tightening range with a lower high under 1746. However, we didn't do that. Instead, what we saw was the break of our last low. So here's this low, our higher low, bulls get the opportunity to push up and we can see that opportunity in the form of this hourly time frame where you see this bounce and the rejection from EMA 12 then we lose our hourly supports, which is this little guy right there, set 1476 in after hours pre-market. We see that drop, and then we get the commitment to the downside. Before the market even opens, we lose 1402. Now, what that means is that our equilibrium has broken bearish, and we can expect more downside to follow. That is indeed what we saw. We saw pretty significant 50-minute downtrend all day, rejecting from our EMA 12 and our EMA 26. So the lesson here is equilibriums, watch for those key level losses. We saw weakness in the hourly time frame with loss of 1476. That of course transferred into the loss of 1402. And then it was just clear short from that point. So what are we looking for now? Well, we need to go back to the daily time frame. We are in daily consolidation mode. We're still in a daily uptrend. And right now bulls have all but one support level there are 1155 that is our last bearish attack and let's zoom in so we can see that in a little bit more clarity there is that right there so our low bulls push all the way up the response from the part of the bears brings into 1155 that is the extreme point after uh, at which the bears are able to arrive before the bulls retake control so 1155 is basically the line in the sand for the bears and the bulls that bulls need to defend that level and set a higher low over 11.55 on the daily if they have any chance of keeping things going to the upside. If they lose 11.55, then we're gonna be looking for support down in the area of 8.56. So let's go back to the hourly time frame. What are we gonna to need to see to see a higher low over 11.55? Well, we need to change this hourly trend. The last high was the high of the afternoon, 13.25, and everything since then has been lower highs, lower lows with rejections from this EMA 20 or EMA 12, the blue line. In some cases, even even a even EMA eight. So what do we need to see? We need to see a support established. We need to see a higher low, a break over thirteen twenty five from this for this example. Then we need to see a higher low over what this will become our new lowest low in the hourly downtrend, which will of course indicate that the trend has changed, possibly setting in that higher low on the daily time frame. Let's go back right there. So that is what we're looking for right now. Bears are currently in control. We're looking for a possible reversal above that $11 mark, but we have a lot of work to do to get there. LAKE on the daily time frame, another big red day. And let's go check out what that looks like. Actually, with this weekly time frame, but we still have a bear day on the daily, and we've lost a couple of key supports. First of all, let's clear our charts. Not sure where those data points came from a little while ago. We lost a key support in the daily. First of all, we lost yesterday's low pretty quickly. And we'll take a look at what that looks like. Let's turn our magnets back on. Each of these windows seems to have a different configuration. So we lost 1610, which was significant. We also lost 1507 and 15 psychological closing under 15. So bears are in control. And right now the only support that we've got uh, in the short term is 1380 on the daily time frame. If we go to the four hour time frame, we can see that we are in a four hour downtrend having lost that key support. What we can expect at this point would be continuation on the hourly, although we're getting a little bit extended and we have an hourly bear flag. But the problem with this is that on the hourly, the closer we are to oversold on the hourly time frame, the harder it is for the bears to continue this push. So we've got a beautiful setup for a hourly bear flag, but how close to are we oversold? We're already underneath 30 at 2648 RSI. So even if the bears pour things on, there's not as many people coming to that bear party as there would be if the RSI was 50. So that's just something to keep in mind. You can look for a little bit of an oversold bounce. If we see an exhaustion point push where the bears are able to break 1480, we go to the four hour time frame and look for an oversold condition on the four hour because right now the hourly doesn't seem to be mattering too much. So if we see that big push on the part of the bears, we see something pushing down into the area of, let's say, right around here. We're looking at this support in the area of, what is that? 
13 something like that if we see a big four hour push we get the four hour oversold then i'd be interested as long as we are maintaining that daily higher low pattern so that is the ideal situation that we want to see on lake bear is pretty much in control of everything at this point codx on the daily time frame let's clear those charts again always a good practice to clear charts even when i'm doing videos day to day i like to restart and get a fresh perspective so a decision yesterday bears in control today but we are holding our ema 1226 and really this is representative of a lack of a trend at this point so we're going to be looking to the short-term time frames for a little bit of indication as to what's going to happen right now we have changed the daily trend with our high now we need to confirm that change with a higher low anything over top of 676 is going to be that higher low on the four hour time frame way too extended to be considering a bull flag at this point and we have basically a very strong 15 minute downtrend that's playing counter trend to our four hour higher higher highs higher lows pattern so anything over top of let's call this 792 is going to be a four hour higher low so we've got that 15 minute and hourly counter trend going against that four hour uptrend. So what we would look for would be a 15 minute trend change in this tightening range that would signify a four hour higher low over 792. The other thing that you can look for, and it doesn't look very pretty here on CODX, I'm trying to find a time frame that makes it a little bit more clear. I guess 30 is really the only one we've got. Uh, we've got a tightening range, I don't wanna call it a wedge, but it kind of is, uh, a wedge here showing this tightening range, showing this constricting power and often these patterns are going to break bull so we can go all the way down to 855 which at this point will put us at uh, 4 a.m uh, uh utc minus 7 so easter time and possibly break bull if we do that that means we have held that 792 level we are breaking breaking bull out of a generally bullish pattern and continuing a four hour uptrend so something to keep an eye on for codx right there if this does break bull our next resistance is going to be the high of our push over here at 1487 vir on the daily time frame another indecision candlestick a weak open and a strong close for the bears on the four hour time frame we have actually let's go back and mark out our daily support that's always important perhaps our pivots will do it for us not so lucky today 2692 is our daily support level on the four hour time frame we are in a four hour uptrend where we're trying to change that trend here's our low our high now we need to see a higher low possible we've done it right here but everything is looking pretty bearish so bulls need to hold 3114 in order to maintain that four hour uptrend we are currently in a 15 minute downtrend and but an hourly sideways real lack of trend here we can see that coming into effect with that conglomeration of uh that's a fancy word conglomeration of our emas when all your EMAs are stuck together like this, it means you are not trending. So it's pretty useless to use those at that point. However, we've got ourselves a 15 minute sideways trend, hourly sideways, four hour, looking for that higher low over 27.12. Last one, NVAX. NVAX on the daily time frame still looking relatively bullish. We have seen higher lows and higher highs pretty consistently. The last support for the bulls that they need to hold a higher low over top of is 1322. On the four hour time frame, we've lost four hour higher lows with this level here and then the close below. Almost a four hour, definitely a hourly bear flag at this point. So what we can look for is gonna be a drop from this bear flag. And as long as bulls maintain a high over 1322, they will be okay on the daily time frame. So pretty good consolidation so far. That would take us into oversold territory. I would be interested in an oversold bounce at that point and looking for a little bit of strength, trying to manage my entry, getting as close to that 1322 as possible, using the technicals to plan our trades, plan our stop losses and recognize opportunity when it comes is exactly what we're all about at chartguys.com i've got no idea what these charts are going to do but i do know what i'm going to do when they do what they do if that makes any sense at all anyway thank you for listening and have a good afternoon evening wherever you are